Cindy from Freeze Baby's Fiber Frolic. I got Joey with me. Um, I just wanted to, this is a Happy Mail vi video, so um, I follow a lot of different rescues all over the place, even as far as Australia. But one of the uh, one of the um, places I follow is the Cattery out of Corpus Christi, Texas, and they were having a fundraiser. So I decided, why, why not? Um, let me open this up and show you. Ugh. Sorry, it's kind of stuffed in there tight. Joey's not being very helpful either. Okay. Okay. So it's a coloring book, adult coloring book. And, um, or it's actually activity book too, so it could be an age. See, it's called the Cattery Coloring Book. And, um, I got a, um, little card with one of their cats on it. Isn't it cute? It says, thank you for so, so much for supporting the Cattery Cat Shelter. So that's really cute. And so the coloring book, I really haven't had much of a chance to look at it. Um, so let's see what it looks like. I love this kind of stuff. I got my colored pencil sitting here. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Oh, look at! Thank you for so their nonprofit, carefree, no kill cat shelter in Corpus Christi, Texas. Every purchase helps to real abandoned, abused, and or homeless cats find their second chance and get adopted. So here it is, and I will try to remember to um, link their um, social media on here too. Um, and you can kind of see some of the pictures. They also have um, like other activities in here like crossword puzzles. And um, what else we got in here? Oh, cat's love boxes, ain't that true? Yeah, they got, oh, they even have Halloween ones in here. So, anyhow, isn't that cute? I thought that was nice. And, um, but yeah, I'll get use out of it. I might even pull some of the pictures out and hang them on the refrigerator. You never know. Oh, look, you can play match, match the shadows. That's cute. I don't have any friends with really young kids here in town. They're all in other states, anyhow. So, that's my, uh, happy meal for today. This guy's doing okay. He's uh, cuddling with me today. Um, so you actually get to see me do a real video, huh? Um, yeah, I'm doing some projects. I've got, actually got several projects going on. But um, I'm trying to finish up some of my um, fin um, whips. Now this is an older whip. I started this like three years ago. And... Um, this is my carry with me project because most of my other projects are big. I'm working on a blanket. See, the sock. I never have any problems with second sock syndrome. Well, once I get going, I'm uh, pretty good on um, getting things done. This is the Hermione's Everyday Socks. And you can see I um, knit on two circulars. That's how I was learned, how I learned from Cat Voorhees' book. Socks are on two needles. Ah, I don't have anything in here about where I got the yarn from. I want to say I got it in North Carolina when we were there visiting there one year for um, holidays about five years ago. But it's really soft and it's got um, it's got a sheen to it. I mean, it's got little what the heck's that? Oh, it's a needle. Anyway, it's got a lot of sheen to it, and it's really soft. I'm not going to wear these. Um, they're, I don't think they're going to be loose enough for me. Usually when I do need, when I make stuff for other people, I use a one, number one needles. But when I make for myself, I do two because I have problems with edema. And, um, yeah, I do wear socks down here all the time. Um, even though the wool socks are sometimes hot, some of the superwash mixes aren't. I mean, these would be would be nice and soft. I would probably just wear them in the house anyways um, as a you know, slipper. Anyhow, so that's real pretty. 
Um, I'm also working on a cat couch for a friend of mine. I can't show you. I'm not going to show it because I don't want her to see it until it's done. And then um, the blanket I'm working on is um, Luck of the Draw 7. Um, I think i got three weeks left to go. The, it finished a long time ago. And then after I get done working on that, I'm going to get back to my mosaic afghan. Um, I am doing a yarn de-stash, um, significant one, so I might post some videos about that. Um, right now I'm just pulling the yarn out and trying to sort it by brand, and then once I get it to brand, I'll, I'll break it down by type of yarn. I'm not selling any of my sock yarn or any of my, you know, my thinner yarns. I might, I, I might some of my, um, stuff from hobby and um ice yarns but we'll see but i'm gonna i gotta because if we end up having to move into a a smaller place i'm gonna have to um get rid of it because i'm not gonna have an office anymore um right see where i'm here right now i have three bedrooms one office is a um where one room is my office and the other room is my slash yarn room, guest room. I've got um, laundry hampers all the way around the bed of, of yarn. So I'm going to, I want to cut it down by a half. <clears throat> and um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, also, um, every quarter I do a um, giveaway on my Facebook group through my YouTube channel too. And um, I had to extend it. I, I, you know, I didn't do the last quarter, um, drawing because I've been sick. So what I'm doing is, uh, I'm going to extend it to the end of September for the end of that quarter. And, um, also I'll make it a bigger giveaway. And then it's also, October 1st is also my five year podcast anniversary. So I'm going to do a, another, um, giveaway for that too. So that'll be a good way to get rid of some of my yarns. Um, I've got a lot of a good selection of yarns. I mean, I've got a lot of the stuff from Joann's and Hobby Lobby and, and um, Michael's. So, but I also have stuff from um, Ice Yarns and Hobby and some of the um, hand dyed. Most of my hand dyed is sock yarn, so I probably won't get rid of that. But yay! Free yarn! Yay! Um, and then I'm going to sell some of my yarn. I might do mystery boxes. I don't know. I'll see what my other uh, Zoom aunties think. I have a group that was started during the pandemic on Zoom. There was a group of us and they ended up growing up to about, oh man, 30 people. We weren't all on Zoom at the same time, but um, the leader of our group, the one who opened up her um, her Zoom account for us to use as a 24-hour room. Um, she passed away a year and a half ago, so um, we lost out on that. But a couple other people stepped up with their Zoom rooms, so um, so that works out great. Anyways, I've rattled off enough. I love you guys. I really appreciate your support, and I'm welcoming any of my new subscribers. And also my TikTok friends, because um, and Dolly and Fabric, or you know, Fiber Arts, because um, I was gonna separate my dolls, but um, nah, I am gonna downsize my dolls to my uh, Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with my Reborn dolls at this time. I'm, I would have separation anxiety. <laughs> you know, and these little guys are so cute. I'm sorry, how could you resist that face? So anyhow, Joey says bye, and I will talk to you soon.